So if you've entered all your data into Excel, it should look something like this. You should have a column with your latitude uh, coordinates, a column with your longitude coordinates. As we are to the west of the meridian, there should be a minus in front of them. And lastly, a column with your noise measurements in decibel. Uh, make sure you have some column headers so the software will automatically recognize what they are. And then save this file as a .csv file. So that's a comma separated values file format. And we use this file format because ArcGIS um, has, finds it much easier to read this file type than Excel files themselves. Excel files, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. So but CSV files always work. So after you've saved it, you can go to ArcMap. And then we now want to add that data. But you can't add data with the file open thing because that will just open another project file. So that's no, uh, no use to us. And then instead we need to add data. We add data with this big plus sign over here. So let's click the big plus sign. And now, now we see that our, we have a file browser, which looks a lot, a lot like every other Windows program, but something is a bit different. And, and we can't just move back to, to doesn't, it looks different because uh, ArcGIS has these sort of preferred locations where it's expecting your files. So if your, your location isn't there, you need to edit and you edit with this sign, you say connect to folder button. If you click this button, we can now browse to our folder. So in this case, I have some GIS stuff in here. Um, GIS examples. I just want to connect to this folder. And now GIS examples will be here as a folder connection. If I click there and then I go to noise, then I have my noise measurements right there. So, so if you can't find your folder, use this to connect to the folder and then it will be there by default. So let's just add our file to uh, ArcMap. Now we can't actually see it. It's just edited here to it, but we, it's not on the map yet. But let's double click this and what, what do we have? Well, we have, we have, we have basically loaded this data as a table and it's got three fields, latitude, longitude, and noise in decibel. But it's not a map yet. So to make it a map, we need to right click our layer and do display X, Y data. And then we need to tell Arc Map how to interpret this as map data. Now it's already realized that the X field that should be the longitude and the Y field that should be the latitude. There's no set field where you don't have any elevation data. And we need to pick a coordinate system. So in this case, it's already got the right one, but if it's not showing that, um, we've got GPS data and GPS data is usually in a WGS 1984, which is a, a geographic coordinate system for the whole world. So we're gonna go to, first we click geographic coordinate system, then we go to world, and then we just browse WGS 1984. And there are some variations to it, but we're just going to use the main one. Click okay. So we've set all these fields, we've chosen a, chosen a coordinate system. Let's just click okay. Now it's got a small error message about the object ID. It makes things a little bit slower, but it's not really a big issue at the moment. So we're just going to ignore this and click OK. And now, boom, we have all these points on the map. And we can see that when you move the mouse at the bottom here, Excel displays your coordinates and you seem to be or at least roughly right. But to know for sure that we are in the right place, let's add a base map. Now base maps, you have know, to add data map. There's a little triangle to the right of it. If you click that, you can get to add base map. And we get a list of choice. Let's just go for streets. That should be fine for now. And then we wait a little bit. Base maps in ArcMap are rather slow. So it's best to just um, add them at the end. Yeah, there we go. And they are exactly where we would expect them to look. We can re recognize Rotten Row Gardens here. And we see that all these points have been nicely collected in the area around the, the university. Might be some small errors. We don't know if, if this was really on this side of the road or not. 
yes, small errors in GPS. But this looks looks overall looks alright. 